So this is what the 50 inch blazer light bar looks like when it's installed on the 4030. I had to actually make a custom bracket and I'll climb up here and show you. But I had to, had to make my own bracket to install this. And essentially all I did was I took a piece of inch and a half tubing and then welded it to one inch angle iron. Actually, I think that's inch and a quarter. And then put some rubber kind of underneath it here just to protect the fiberglass a little bit. But welded up this bracket and then just welded the factory mounts on to, just tacked them on to the ends here. And you can kind of see how it, how that fastens up. But and then the back side here, it's just the angle iron's about 12 inches both sides and just bolted right to the top of the unit here. But it seems to be a pretty solid mount. It's pretty easy to do. And the thing is just wicked bright. So here, I'll actually turn it on. Well, I mean, you can, it, it's, you can't even look directly at the damn thing. So, pretty satisfied. So this would be a demonstration of the Blazer 50 inch dual LED light bar, which has uh, spotlights in the middle and then floods on the side. This is a 4030 John Deere with just a uh, stock lighting system. I've got a 148 loader on it. I'm in the middle of a gravel road outside of my place here. And uh, as you can see, the lighting is pretty poor. I actually wound up getting stranded uh, out here during a blizzard one time and I got pretty upset and decided to install one of these light bars. So I'm just gonna show you uh, what the draw is like here from the bolt standpoint. You can see that I'm currently in the safe zone here. We're running the regular lights. I'm gonna turn on the, uh, the Blazer 52 inch light bar now and you can see the difference. Fairly, uh, pretty good for the money in my opinion. I haven't really seen any other 50 inch light bars, I guess, in person. But I mean, as you can see, this has a full 180 degree range of view. And uh, I can see, you know, a good quarter mile. I suppose if I aimed this thing up a little bit higher, I could probably even see maybe even a half a mile or further with this thing. It's, it's pretty good for the money in my opinion. And then just take a look at our our volt draw here one more time. I'll shine my light on here, but you can see that we're still we're still in the safe zone here. I mean, this thing isn't really drawing that much power. So, and I've got just a standard. I think it's a 65 amp alternator on this thing. I don't have any any fancy alternators or anything like that. So, just once again for comparison here, regular stock lights. And again, kind of partially obstructed by that loader I've got, but you know, hitting the light bar, way, way different. So pretty good in my opinion, worth the money. This kind of gives you another perspective here of the light bar. So up there is my house, you really can't even see it too well with just the factory lighting on. So now I'll hit the 50 inch blazer light bar. Pretty significant difference. And again, 180 degrees, so. Factory lights, you can't even see off the side, so pretty good.